Hello lovelies, it's she here from Golden Thread Tarot. How are you doing today? I'm here to bring you another channel message. I hope this message of abundance as always, my sweets. So definitely some healing going on here in the collective. Yeah, definitely feel that. Healing, right? Healing from this from this heartbreak here. I feel like somebody could want notifications, okay? Somebody is here and they they want to talk to you. I feel your energy all around me. Kiss kiss it like you missed it. <laughs> Can I trust you? Do you trust me? And focus on yourself. I'm doing the same. Let's build towards each other. I'm feeling detached, running away. And there's so many I'm here too. But what type of soulmate? Spirit, can you give... Okay. Immediately, a little chunk dropped out. That was pretty fast. There's definitely some sneaky energy here from the past, right? Secrets. Possibly even about a family. Or a family secret. It didn't want to come out. It's been stuck. I'm reading that energy too. There's some energy there about that. That could be with you. Maybe that could be with your soulmate as well. Or for your the soulmate energy. Okay. Yeah. This new beginning for this person. This person has been really slow. Okay. They've been really slow. They've been really slow to offer a new beginning. They've been, now they could have been slow because they were just taking their time. Maybe they're the type of person that just likes to take their time and really get to know somebody before they come in and make an offer. Also, this could be, you know, that this person has reached a lot of delays along the way, whether that be self-made, self-sabotage, or from outside, or a combination, right? Outside inter interference or like a combination of all of it in between, right? Which it usually is. So... Something's going on here with this person. It's, ta it's taking this person a really long time. But they feel you running away. Or somebody here is running away. Maybe they're saying, you know, this person is saying, I was running away. Instead of starting this new beginning. That Seven of Swords energy, right? Yeah. Yeah, the old running away from a contract issue here. Yeah, a soul contract too, for sure. With the temperance and the higher font there. A promise. Uh, like a, yeah, a soul contract. A soul promise, that's what I'm hearing. Mm. Well... Okay. Well, justice is coming in this situation, right? And with this focus on yourself, I heard that uh, focus song by her. Can you focus on me? Baby, can you focus on me? Right? Justice in the Ace of Cups. Somebody here is going to, somebody here wants to get their justice. They want to receive justice here. They want to, to get what's right and what's right is for this person to get a love offer. But has the time passed? I don't know. This person can't stop thinking about it. They're stuck. Stuck on the idea of it. Or they've come to the idea of it now after a period of atonement, after a period of going through karma for their choices now. You know, but there is a justice here. Whether or not it's a new beginning with somebody else. Yeah. There was a karmic debt to be paid here and it has been paid. So where, where from here, right? Well, that's on you, Spirit is saying. Yeah. This person is not ready to let go of their old soul contract either. 
they feel like, you know, yeah, they're really to open up, they're really to talk, they want to take, uh, they want to take advantage of this, um, in the sense of, you know, they don't want to lose, miss out on this opportunity, yeah, because you're walking away, I just saw the tower card back there too, yeah, sure, right here, they want to reach out, they want to talk to you, they have a message for you, possibly like a, a DM or an email or something like that. Maybe even a text message. I don't think a call. Or you could hear something about this person from someone even. This person could, wow. The moon. The moon just flew out over this and like landed right on the floor. And I really think it's, Yeah, this person is just, they could try to reach out in a, yeah, they're definitely going to try to reach out and offer something. A page of cups, though. It's not a king of cups. As I say, I was just about to say, I was trying to say king of pentacles, but then a king of cups. Mm. But this person is ready to act on their feelings, though. I feel like though, because you keep your energy keeps on pulling up as all this page energy, while they look at themselves as like a king energy. So I don't know. Maybe you would say this person's overconfident because maybe you're just like, no, yeah. <laughs> so you're like, uh, or whoever this person is. One person here is like ready to go, ready to go, and the other person is like, mm, hold up, I'm getting some. Warning bells, I'm getting some, I'm not too sure about this again. They're, now they're, you know, you're like, ah, you're trying to come up like you're a king, but it's like, maybe this person's energy, or maybe you just see this person this way. I'm telling you, they're going to reach out through somebody, through some kind of third party here. They're going to reach out to you like on a, a secret account, like a fake account, or through somebody else's account, like a friend of somebody like that, they're going to reach out to you. Or get somebody, like be like, hey, can you reach out to this person? The high priestess, period. They want, they want to do it in secret. They don't want anybody to know. But they feel like you would still know. They're like, you would know. You would still know, but they don't want, it's not, that, like, it's still not them reaching out, like, on a... Like, as them. So, why? Why all the secrets? Why the fake accounts? Four Wands? Tower. Someone's going at this person's house. Either there's somebody that's living with this person at their house that they don't want to know. They don't want this person to know that you're reaching out to them. Or they're reaching out. Or whichever way is happening here. Whoever's reaching out to who or however it happens to happen. They don't want somebody that lives at their house or somebody that they're in a, like in some kind of like marriage or commitment with. Wow. A karmic. Some kind of karmic. Yeah. They feel really heavy burdened. That doesn't mean it has to be like a romantic relationship. I just heard with this three of pentacles, I just heard domestic partnership. Ten of pentacles. Could be family. You could have a family with this person. This person's feeling a really heavy burden, though. They're like, I'm dealing... This person's like, on their on their side, they're like, I'm dealing with a lot. Exactly. 
It didn't even want to. It didn't even go back in there. <laughs> seven, seven of wands. They feel like they've been fighting off a lot. They've been fighting off attacks or fighting off uh, something. It's like I've been trying so hard. Having like all the weight of this on my shoulders. King of Wands. I ask what? Queen of Cups. Somebody they have feelings for. Judgment. This person's like, why even come forward? Why even come forward? Because, like, it's a, this person feels like it's already been decided. It's like you've, uh, like, somebody, something here has, judgment has already been passed, already been called on this situation. Whether that be yours or spirits or whatever. Yeah, a new cycle is beginning here. So, it's like this person feels like, like, faded. Like faded for heartbreak. What's this? <laughs> yeah. This person is definitely in a very karmic mindset. Um, I'll let that be what it is. You know, it's, it's a general reading, so you'll know better. This person is trying to find a way. They're trying to find a way to make this work, to make everything else work, to make everything work. <laughs> so they can come forward and offer you this two of cups. Yeah, they're manifesting this really hard. Not whether or not, you know, they're just, they're actually actively manifesting it or they're just manifesting it, thinking about you, talking about you, fantasizing about you, whatever it is. This person, even though they're showing up as, as a king, they're, in, they're very much in their feminine energy right now. Please forgive me. I'm building my self-confidence. I'm moving in silence, which is that high priestess that I'm moving in silence. Ugh. Yeah, exactly. That's thank you, spirit. I'm just like, all of this is from this person's perspective, but like, this is a soul tie. I have to move on, right? Like, this person, I'll find you somewhere out there. I'm cutting karmic ties. Twin flames. I have found my tree. truth. I found my truth. This person thinks that you're twin flames. Or that you're some kind of soul, soulmates here. So, free yourself from the past. And I'm learning how to lead myself energy. So... There are there are soul ties involved here with this karmic care. This person is trying. They say they gotta cut it. They gotta do what they gotta do. So, but this person's truth doesn't have to be yours. I don't know. I don't know who this person is for you. Twin flame. This per this person thinks that you guys are twin flame. How you feel about it, love? I'm pulling back my energy. I'll find you out there. You're my inspiration. Come and find me. So, some of y'all are like, look, I'm pulling back my energy. But, you know, come and find me. Come and find me, Twin Flame, or whoever this soulmate energy is for you. For your, they're, yeah. They're just trying to free them. So that's what their energy is saying. Like I said, this is a general reading. So for some of y'all, yeah. It, 
you got options. You got options here. You got soulmate energies. You got, you know, of course, it's still karma. It's been trying to pop up, trying to cause havoc and shit in the middle of a, you know. So, but you use your discernment. Know what you want, Spirit is saying. As long as you know what you want, you know what's going to align with you. Just take the time that you need to know what you want. But you do really have to let go of this past energy here. There is someone being sneaky here. This person, King of Cups, this person could be a water sign or they could just be in their feelings. This is just how this person feels. How's my collective feel? Mm. I feel like some of you are like willing to see what would happen like mm, i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to check. i'm gonna see how you move for a while i'm not gonna make any promises i'm gonna see how you move for a while i feel like that's how some of you are you're just like you're using your discernment you're like okay it's easy to say words but actions require you know <laughs> where it has to be more than just words though that's what i feel like so some of you are like some of you are like yeah i feel like some of you are like i'm good and some of you are like well it depends on the person like i might see what happens the lovers. I still, I know I still have choices. You're trying to like meditate, think about it, step back, heal, do your own thing, focus on you. Exactly. Take out those swords out of your heart. Go to the four swords. Lay, <laughs> lay down, rest, relax. Like I said. Either way, whatever it is, you're like, I'm just going to keep doing me, which is I'm just going to keep choosing to go towards whatever's going to free me from the past, you know? So, right? Because it's like aligned with what you want. So, that's what it says. I know, I know what you want so that you can align to it, so that you can align with it. And then once you're aligned with yourself, all you have to do, you know, all, all it is to it is lining up with, with what lines up with you. So just truly be you. Right? Know what gives you confidence. Know what gives you power. Know what works for you. And base that on just what you want, not what anybody else wants. Not what this person wants. Spirit's just letting you know this is how this person feels. You, you don't have to feel the same way this person feels. Or maybe you do. You're also, a, you know, of course. Maybe some of, like I said, some of you are like, huh, be gentle with yourself. Yeah. Some of you are like, no, oh, okay. And some of you are like, I'm good. <laughs> you know, I'm good. Whoever you are. I'm going through major transformations. I feel union coming. I remember you from a past life. I'm, I made choices I'm not proud of. Okay. I feel like some of you remember this person being a karma from a past life. Or remember past life issues. Are we shifting timelines? So... You're like, okay, are you actually trying to change or are you, you trying to be karmic? What you trying to do? Yeah, it's like, let, let me just see. Let me just see the moves you make. I'm learning from a karmic right now. Just for, like, I feel like a lot of you have been like, you a karmic. Or this turned karmic at some point. This turned karmic on some, at some level. So that means... Yeah, something was karmic. What's happening on your side too? You were doing something that turned this kind of, kind of karmic. Maybe you were fearing. Maybe you're projecting. Clear your energy exactly. Just clear this karmic energy. Excuse me. Let me take a drink. <sighs> you need to hear the ocean and kiss it like the first time every time. So I definitely feel like. Everybody here, I feel like it's feeling like in that kind of like 
or the feminine energy I feel like here feminine energy is feeling like in <laughs> like in the mood to like really love on themselves and be there for themselves and support themselves and guide themselves and you know listen to guidance and go inside so if the if the masculine here is more in feminine energy that's what they're being guided to do right now there's a lot of feminine energy in the collective right now which is good Love yourself first. Heart to heart conversations. Having those serious conversations with yourself, like, hey yo, <laughs> hey yo. Um, you know, we need to love ourselves. We need to have that self respect for ourselves. We need to do what we need to do. Right? Yeah, I was just about to say, and everything you're doing is helping a soulmate align who you really want. Because for a lot of you, you're like wedding, calling your soulmate. You're like, I want a partner. I want a for real partner, not whatever. Some like some if it's not, you know, an actual like marriage partnership, maybe like a a like a something that can grow, like a serious friendship, something that could possibly grow into a marriage. You're like I I want to kind of date this person. I want to have fun and date them, but I also, you know, I want to date somebody that has like serious potential here. Yeah, and you're just like I just I just don't want the red flag. I just don't want the BS. I'm just done with the BS. Like, I'm cutting that out of my life. It's about time. Worth waiting for. Finances. Yeah, I feel like you've been working on your career. And now a lot of you are like, I'm, I've been working on my career. I'm really ready. I feel like I'm healthy enough now. Right? You've been learning to free yourself. Learning, you know. So, forgiving yourself. Forgiving other people in your life. Forgiving, you know, healing. Doing all of that. And so you're just like, all of this I know. You know, exactly. I want somebody that's going to grab me and hold me tight. But I'm surrendering to the divine. Right, and some of you are deciding to free yourself from reconciliation. You're like, I don't want somebody from a past, maybe from a past life, if you're a positive soulmate. But I feel like a lot of you have already put that out there, so you just have to surrender to the divine plan of you know when you're gonna be with that person exactly. Let your friends help you. Let your let your cosmic friends help you. They're going to align you with the right people. Very soon. Thank you. And what does it say? Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Clearly decide what you want. Decide what you want. And your friends, they will help you. You know? Your friends in the higher realms, that's what they're here for. Right? Make that effort to separate from the things that you need to. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're being guided to take. It is safe for you to love, right? So it's just about putting in that work and, and making your heart where it's ready to love. Yeah, freeing yourself from <laughs> some of your own red flags or your own issues. Forgiving yourself, forgiving others. You know, um, once you start doing this healing work even more, whatever it is that you're continuing to work on, Right, because I don't. It's, it's not like oh, you're at zero and you need to start. Like most of you have already, you know. It just no, the healing keeps going. So you're healing from these things, and as you heal from that, you will just naturally stop attracting these people with this red flag, because so you you won't be accepting of it. Your energy won't be open to it because it's like okay, I've learned that lesson. This could be the one. Spirit's almost saying like when you stop looking for the one, that's when you're just gonna find it. All right, like this, focus on yourself, right? Focus on what you want. And the real thing is worth waiting for. Hey, you know, divine timing is at play here. And I know we all get tired of hearing that. So, you know, so it's like, of course, of course it is. <laughs> Playfulness, yeah. So what's blocking here? What's blocking you here from feeding yourself is this lack of playful energy about it. It's like kind of like, it's like seeing like getting a soulmate is like a job. <laughs> That's what Spirit is saying. Like it's just supposed to come naturally to you as you're just being yourself. I don't know, this might sound frustrating to some of you because try, Spirit is basically saying like you're trying too hard. Just let it 
let it be let it go just do what makes you happy spend time with your friends and your family work on the stuff you want to work on do the things you want to do take care of yourself be there for yourself have standards about what you expect from yourself and like will attract You know, and by standard, spirit said they they really want you. Unless instead of focusing less on what your standards are, like what I expect from somebody else, focus on what you expect from yourself. It's not like having boundaries and having standard. You know, having standards of what you will like. Once you know what you want, like you just align to that, so you don't have to put it on anybody else. This is a soul contract. This is a part of your soul contract. This is a, an important lesson that you're learning here with this. I'm dealing with childhood trauma. Please give me time. Take a swim and just flow with it, right? Just flow with it. Okay. Yeah, Spirit is saying like the worst part of this is behind you. You've already gone through the really dark stuff, the really painful crying stuff. So now it comes the good stuff. Now it comes the downhill. Now it comes the just learning to let go and just allowing your body to naturally heal, allowing your mind and your heart to naturally heal by just appreciating the things that you love, doing things that you love, being around people that you love. Yeah, pull back your energy, right? Pull back your energy into yourself. You know, and that will just, it will, you know, you just keep doing it. It will naturally occur. Hmm. I'm walking away from a toxic situation. You are walking away here from a past life toxic situation here. Together we will build an empire. Yeah, so I'm building up my confidence. Everything that you want is going to come. I am transmuting my fear into love and forgiveness. Exactly. Right? Take a deep breath. It's all coming to you in time. Again, focus on yourself. Following a new path towards uh, you know, love and learning how to lead yourself to that path. Right? And trusting yourself. Trusting your intuition and transmitting your fear of not trusting other people because you don't trust yourself fully because of things that have happened in your past. And you may be saying, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, maybe just this part of it doesn't apply to you, right? Or maybe you're just not ready to hear it. But you were sent here for a reason. But all of it is a general reading, so all of the reading does not have to apply to you. Ooh. What was that? Clear your energy. Yeah. feel like you're detaching you're receiving strange visions I, I made choices I'm not proud of I feel I really feel like you are detaching from that from that energy of really holding yourself really being hard on yourself about things that you've about mistakes that you've made in the past and being hard on other people too although I feel like it's easier for some people in the in this collective, it's, hard, it's easier to forgive other people than it is yourself for you. Yeah. 
kiss me like the first time every time. I feel such a strong connection. I love your hands that made me feel safe. Yeah, this is about wanting to be with somebody that makes you feel safe and that makes you feel like it's like a um, everlasting. You know, it's like we keep it fresh. Like we keep going. If we need to talk, we'll do what we need to do. It's just like a, just a healthy relationship, right? No relationship is perfect, but communication goes a long way, you know? Yeah. I'm chasing because I need to heal. Yeah, so you could be chasing after this very, like, snapshot of what a of what you think a relationship is really supposed to be. Whether that be an idealized, whether or not you have a toxic view, like a codependency on something that you received in your childhood, whether or not it's kind of like a, a Cinderella or kind of like a, a fairy tale syndrome where it's like, oh, this is what a relationship is supposed to, to look like, or if it's something that you picked up from some kind of childhood uh, toxicity that you saw when you were growing up, you know? So whether or not the, tra the, the trauma is that you feel like it's supposed to be this idealized version of what a relationship or love or great love is supposed to be. Or it's at the other end of the spectrum. I feel you pulling my energy. Yeah, I made choices I'm not proud of. So this is definitely draining some energy from you. Right? This fear and this doubt energy. Which, fear is the heaviest energy. So it will drain you. But I really feel like you're facing it. I do feel like you're facing it. And I do feel like... That's the thing that spirit, so if you want specific things, like specific um, types of meditation to look up, definitely look up stuff on healing um, around relationships and around your identity in relationships. I just, I just felt, also heard uh, relationship politics, so if that's going to resonate for somebody out there. I'm asking for some advice. So, <laughs> Spirit saying, flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So, be around people that share this lighthearted energy with you, right? That are living in this lighthearted energy and be that person living in this lighthearted energy as much as you can through this, right? And it's not like smile and grin and like grind your way through it. Like, really honestly try to be as genuine. Find. You know, find those things to genuinely make yourself happy. You know, life doesn't have to be perfect because it's never going to be perfect. But, you know, yeah, career and finances, focus on your stability. Yeah. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah. Yeah. Chemistry and release your ex. I really feel like this old energy of in the past is like chemistry is wonderful and it is necessary for a relationship, but it can't be it. There also has to be compatibility, right? And chemistry is not a supplement for compatibility, right? The chemistry, that's great, but chemistry isn't long lasting, right? Chemistry is hot and heavy and then fading to do I really even like who you really are kind of energy, or as long as we're, you know, in this passionate kind of energy like that, everything's okay. But yeah, exactly. Engagement, reconciliation, getting to know each other. So, retreat. There is somebody here that wants to disconnect from an old cycle. And they would prefer to disconnect with you. They would rather take, they, there is, I really have like this, like your love life is, you know, like your love life is ascending to a higher level too. I feel like you're getting into this reconciliation energy um, with a, with a soulmate from a, like a past life soulmate and you're going to be getting to know this person. I also feel like it's really important for you to get to know, right? Make sure there is compatibility, not just chemistry. It's so important. And it's easy to get swept up in chemistry, healing family issues. So this, this might go back to healing some kind of generational um, toxic mentality, okay, um, 
you know, it's choosing partners off of chemistry or choosing partners off of um, not, it's like a surface level compatibility, like on the 3D we match, but it's like, do we match on a soul level? Do we match on who we really want to be? Is this actually going to be something long term or does it just feel really nice for right now? It just feels nice to be needed. It feels nice to be in a relationship. Yeah, this is nice for right now. Or is it, this could be something serious, past life relationship. So yeah, very soon. Give this relationship a chance. Yeah, worth waiting for. Yeah. So I definitely feel like there's some movement happening here in your love life. And it definitely is coming here from blocking out a certain things, you know, certain types of people that come with certain types of energy. You know, it's like, look, chemistry, that's great. You know, that's great, of course, but I want both. <laughs> yeah. And I need trust. I need like the real stuff for relationships. You know? Oh, wow. Separation and soulmate. Yeah. Trust that, that you and this person, if you're not together right now, it's not meant to be right now. Whenever this person will come in right on time, right when they need to be there, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Because this person also, whoever the soulmate energy is, it can be frustrating. Yes, you know it's coming. You can feel it coming. So it's frustrating. It's like, where is it? Where is it? Kind of energy, you know. But we're not even if it's like, you know, like casually like, oh, I'll check up on it or I'll kind of look into it or I'll kind of think about it. Deception. Maybe you're kind of obsessed for like, not obsessed, but maybe you're just like, constantly waiting to to pull on fear or to pull out of a, a place of when it you know when are they going to backstab me can i energy when's the other shoe gonna drop passion yeah, yeah again it's just know what you want a lot of you know you want new love you know so maybe it's, yeah, right? Maybe it's don't look like every single person. That, oh, my God, this is the one. This is going to be the one that walks into my life. Keep an open mind about the situation, you know, and make an effort, right, to think about what you what true love means to you, what a true love partner would really mean to you, what a relationship that you really what you want it to feel like. And that's all you got to worry about. Spirit said, you don't have to worry about this other person and how they feel about things or what they want to do. Just worry about you. Just worry about what you want and know that and trust that you will align with what you want. All right, well, yeah. Spirit saying that's it. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Okay? Maybe it was just like a little energy checkup with you, how you're doing, how this person is doing. You know, kind of like a you versus your person sort of type thing, I guess. I don't know. But I'll let you know how this person was feeling about this situation. You know, you don't have to agree with them. You don't have to go down and be like, he's a narcissist, blah, blah. I mean, you know, if you're just telling your story, it's fine. But, you know, don't get mad at me. <laughs> don't get mad at me. I'm just telling you how this person feels. Like I said, um, you know, I clearly i feel like you feel a little bit different right you feel different you feel kind of like spirits like look just don't worry about how they feel just pull on just pull on your energy and just worry about that all right thank you guys so much for being here with me today i really appreciate you uh shout out to all the new subscribers we had like coming over this week like appreciate you guys for coming on over um if you're new here think about subscribing drop a like if you liked the video let me know if this resonated for you down in the comment section down below okay um also check out all the other links down below as well. I'm just, I'm so thirsty to this reading. I think I feel like this person is really thirsty. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm just like the whole time. I'm just like, whoa. So, cause my mouth's not dry, but I feel thirsty, like thirst. So yeah, it's possible. But anyway, excuse me. I just wanted to add that little two cents in cause I was energetically feeling it. So like I said, down below, you will link, uh, you will see the links to my second channel where I do my Zodiac readings. If you're interested in that, as well as, um, my online accounts, 
<laughs> sorry about online uh, uh, shop where you guys can uh, purchase this Breaking Lights deck if you guys like the read that you got with that as well as my other decks that I have up for sale as well as my contact information if you want a personal reading for me. I really appreciate you guys being here with me today, okay? I will see you guys later on. Bye!